Hey everybody, I'd like to welcome y'all to the second episode of a little video series I'm going to call Kane Planner. A little video series I do where I complain about shit that bothers me. My name is Kane and I have a few things to complain about. Yesterday, you know, I was talking about the uh, Ozonics and Hex. No Ozonics and Hope. But today, uh, I'm not really complaining. You know, I, I love I love fishing with hummingbird depth finders. I think that they make some of the best electronics out there. But this weekend, I was uh, I was fishing with some buddies of mine. And, I, you know, I messed around with his uh, his new Helix 9 Mega Imaging. You know, I went through it and checked it out. And it was, it was you know, it was cool. I've already messed with it with uh, another buddy of mine on his boat. You know, mainly the Mega Imaging. Thought it was, you know, that they've improved greatly with the with the uh, side imaging that hummingbird has but you know as, eventually i'm going to, have to buy a new a new depth finder uh because mine will finally wear out you know the lights are already starting to dim down a little bit on it but here's the the issue i have uh and maybe doug Ver von Berg can help me out with this maybe he can direct me to a video to see if there's a setting for this but i noticed when we was riding up the lake the mapping on his unit would always zoom out so when i'm trying to ride down the lake and look for shaded areas that i want to fish it would zoom out to a thousand feet or five 500 feet on the setting for the mapping and he had to reach over there and turn it back mash the plus button and zoom back in and as soon as i gave it a little bit of throttle to speed up maybe one mile per hour faster the damn thing would zoom back out now i don't know if that's a setting that you can change which i hope it is but if it if it's not and it does that regardless i definitely ain't gonna buy one of those units the settings for the 2d sonar switch fire i don't know if they call it switch fire anymore it was chirp and you know, high chirp medium chirp what happened to call it what it is 200 kilohertz 83 kilohertz and it make it where it's supposed to be i want to know what sound wave i'm producing or that my unit's producing to find fish i want it simple i don't want all these bells and whistles that y'all have on the new units i don't need a depth finder to connect to my dang cell phone i don't need anything to that can play music if i want to listen to music i'll get a radio if i want to make phone calls i'm not gonna use my damn depth finder i'm gonna use my cell phone let's let's make the depth finder simple make them good make them high tech make great side imaging just do do this make me a, a unit that has side imaging mega imaging you know 2d switch fire with 200 kilohertz 83 kilohertz good mapping and good down imaging you know come back out with the 898 and, and the 998 and the 1198 come back out with those just a better model and newer technology without all the other crap on it Doug, if you got a video out there that explains anything to turn all this stuff off or change the high chirp where it says what frequency it is, let me know. If you didn't see yesterday's episode of Kane Planer, go back on my YouTube channel to see the full version. All right, y'all. I'm gone. See y'all in the water.